I believe that ICO will make something like uh, Ginkgo made two years ago. The next evolution of the market goes to back contact technology and ICO will be top of, on top of it. Because someone called me, he will always call with Daya. It's, I believe it's six. Solid, but nothing amazing. Ah! Welcome to Field Tested on ENF Trade TV. I'm your host, Swamak Chatterjee. This is a series where solar professionals share what works and what doesn't. When the product leaves the brochure and hits the field, this is where you get to know. In today's episode, we are joined by Menlo Electric, one of Europe's leading solar distributors. They will be giving us their candid take on three products they have supported extensively. A high efficiency PV module, a complex but powerful hybrid inverter, and a battery system that delivers when timeline matters. Real insights, real feedback from real projects. You are watching ENF Trade TV, your one-stop destination for all things solar. Nikolai, before we dive into the product reviews, could you give a quick intro about yourself and your role at the company? My name is Mikołaj Konieczka. I'm a leader of technical team in Menlo Electric. Uh, I'm in PV industry since 2015, something uh, right about. Uh, I worked as a um, technical uh, chief of technical uh, department in one of uh, European um, inverter manufacturer. Menlo Electric uh, has a short history, but uh, uh, because only five years. But during that history, um, we won first place in Financial Times, the most um, speed up um, uprising company in the Europe. Thanks, Mikolai. Could you now walk us through the manufacturers and the products you will be reviewing in this episode? Today I'd like to show you and um, tell something more about uh, ICO uh, models, uh, 500 uh, watts um, ICO models, except that uh, they are brand with the low voltage, very interesting low voltage three phase hybrid inverter, and um, on top of it, the battery which perfectly cooperate with this inverter, which is Dynas, uh, Dynas low voltage batteries. This is the set which I would like to show you the pros and cons of that. Of that set. Great, let's begin with ICO modules then. Uh, so ICO, uh, ICO is the brand which today and right now is leading uh, in uh, back contact technology. Back contact technology is the highest, the most uh, advanced uh, type of uh, connecting uh, PV cells. Uh, any, any other brands or any other uh, technologies uh, try to make the cells itself better and better. And uh, that's the way how they um, run one to each other, how they how they conquer. In back contact technology, which ICO is leading, uh, they completely switch the way how they connect the cells. So they take the same cell, but they build it, build it a little differently. And thanks to that, they uh, connected them in the other way. In case of uh, ICO models, in case of uh, back contact technologies, there is a mesh of wires connect all the cells all together. So if the one cell uh, has a problem, is damaged, you know, micro cracked, shaded, whatever happened with the single cell, it doesn't affect on the whole model and which lead us it doesn't affect on the whole string and the whole installation. Right now, ICO, it's significantly more expensive products. I cannot um, argue with that, but the price difference, it's not so high. I believe that ICO is some, uh, will make something like uh, Ginkgo made two years ago when they choose uh, to produce mass production of N-type models and they was the first big brand which switched most of the production power from P-type to N-type. Most of the competitors laugh at them. It's too expensive, no one will buy it. Year after that, Ginkgo was the biggest manufacturer of the models on the world and all of the, not all, uh, 27 from 30 major producers of uh, PV models switched to N-type technology. And I believe right now the next step won't be heterojunction. The next evolution of the market goes to back contact technology and ICO will be top of, on top of it. For ICO modules, how would you rate its physical build quality? Specifically the glass, frame, junction box, the overall construction? 
from my perspective, how the product looks, it's not the most important part of the part of the deal. From my perspective, something which is totally revolutionary is back contact technology allowing to shade part of the model, which doesn't affect on the whole model. You can micro crack the single uh, cell, which might happen during the uh, transportation, during the installation or during the usage, something hard hit the uh, model. It doesn't break the whole model, but it might break single cell. It doesn't affect the whole model. It was outstanding for me. And then I go deeper uh, with the products and it's find out that thanks that there is no boost bars. It looks amazingly. When you put it on the roof, it looks like you put TV, uh, TV flat screens on the roof, not PV models. So it looks uh, totally amazing. Moving on to the next segment, based on your experience, have there been any installation related challenges with the ICO panels? like weight, spacing or other handling issues maybe? If yes, how would you uh, typically resolve those? The main uh, the issues which might happen with the models are strictly connected with the way how the cells are connected with boost bars. Because ICO doesn't use it, all the problems which we are used to have doesn't exist. But it's quite new technology for us so we don't know what problems might show up. So all the old problems, like rusting boost bars, like micro cracks, like overheating the cells, uh, doesn't it exist uh, with ICO? Like shading part of the models and the burning the, the, the cells which are shaded for a long time. Those, those are typical problems with the boost bars models and they doesn't exist in the ICO. And how would you evaluate the overall support from manufacturer's side? Uh, we are very happy with it. Uh, they are very responsive. The typical warranty is 15 uh, by 30 years. So 15 years for the product itself and 30 years for the productivity. Let's do some comparative analysis on the ICO modules. Compared with uh, other NTEP technologies such as Topcon or HJT, how does ICO's all-back uh, contact design hold up in real-world installations? Uh, I don't see it on my bare eyes and uh, I don't. we didn't build in the, exactly the same place. Uh, ICO provide uh, their, their um, simulation and live, uh, live installation that those products provide uh, five up to even seven percent more production with the same power and up to 10% when you have the same area because back contact technology leads us to higher efficiency. So more power in the same size of the frame, also better power coefficiency, which, which means that with the higher temperature of the models and the cells are temperature quite, is quite high in the normal condition life. Uh, so the losses of power coefficient uh, with the back contact with ICO is lower than other other technologies like, like Topcon. Okay, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how, how would you uh, score ICO? 10. Let's move on to the second product, Day's Hybrid Inverter. And here your general overview of both the brand and this model. Yes, uh, the second product is uh, Daya. A year ago, there was the only brand on the market which uh, uh, having three-phase hybrid inverter, most popular uh, type of hybrid inverter. And today, other brands go after that, uh, reach the same path which they uh, they supplied. Uh, they is absolute and unquestionable uh, leader, master, king. Uh, on the market, but on the other markets, they also um, switch od use other advantages to significantly uh, mix uh, in the market. So that's 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 interesting product uh, due to its features. Inverter itself, it's a master of the whole set of energy supply. First source is PV install PV modules. It's obvious, but in the region where I live in uh, Central Europe during the winter, there is no enough uh, energy during the winter. So if you add diesel motor generator into it, if the sun is not good enough, you use as a backup energy, third source of the energy, motor genera uh, generator, to supply the energy endlessly. And the third feature, which uh, when I looked, I uh, looked into it as ah, nice to have, but in real life, it find out it's really nice thing. It's a, it's a support of uh, wind turbine. 
and uh, with data inverter, hybrid low voltage inverter, you can into one MPPTs connect uh, whatever you like or both MPPTs, you can connect wind turbine. Again, if your goal is to have energy no matter of what, first MPPT you use first uh, DC input, you connect modules and to second uh, output, you connect the wind turbine, which works perfectly in winter and during the night. Now, could you talk about any positive feedbacks or challenges that you have gathered from installers working with uh, die inverters? Yes, definitely. They have so many options, and uh, in options and uh, setups, you can put, so, you can go so deeply that it's easy to make a mistake. You feel like a fog when you work with uh, die inverters because you are overwhelmed with the, all the options which provide uh, those inverters. Sometimes uh, I say that uh, other brands is like Windows uh, or, and they is like Linux. If you go, if you dive deep into it, you said it's the best, but typical user, when you give him a computer, he have no idea, he have no clue how to start. And this is how they uh, looks like. The product is so advanced, it has so many complicated options. You know, we distribute nine brands and someone called me, I have problem with inver inverter, I don't have to ask which. 99 calls is uh, from the day side and people are, because other brands, uh, the GUI, the user experience is uh, much uh, better and uh, it's much easier to set the products, to, to get a specific scenario, but their options are limited. In the end, options are multiplied, but this lead us to the situation is easy to felt overwhelmed and lost in that inverter. My personal opinion with days like this, on the first three, you cry. After 10, another, you pray that it will work. After 100 installed, you say, this is absolutely top. And I love it. So this is the product you have to be uh, used to more than any other products. This is the inverter with, I think so, the highest self-consumption on the market. And it, this inverter, uh, from just for the reason it blinks and the screen is on, uh, consumes like 200 watts, significantly higher than, uh, than high voltage than uh, other brands which are uh, the, the best brands which we have consumes like 20 watts so 10 times more 10 times difference it's huge if you don't know it and you are not aware it, aware of it it might lead to a significant problem because inverter first takes the energy from the battery during the winter when the production is not as high as uh, during the summer uh, when you take the basic battery five kilowatt hours uh, and you you just used this energy after the midnight, um, uh, in the evening and you left in the battery 10, 20%, it doesn't uh, stand for a night. And on, in the morning, the battery can be drying out so badly that it doesn't rise. And you might have to uh, charge the battery uh, externally. Broadly speaking, why might you choose or not choose dye over brands like Solis or Grover? Okay, the, the first uh, first choice is price. Let's be honest. The price is uh, lower to be interested in the product. The second thing uh, is ability to connect the generator. So it is the most uh, universal product on the market. No matter what scenario, what expectation uh, customer has, I can fulfill it. When compared with brands like SunGrow, Solis or Grover, how does this hold up? About efficiency, about configurability and tech support, I put there on the lowest, lowest place because con configurability is the most uh, complicated on the market, which I know. Tech support is, I don't want to say worst. But you know, other brands provide uh, locally uh, tech support in most cases in local language even, right? With there you have to contact with other continent, so there's time gap, so we don't, you, can, you cannot get support here and now. So we have to learn this product, right? We have to be more professional to use the, uh, the inverters. On a scale of one to ten, how would you uh, rate the die inverters? Uh, it's complicated to make a one answer and I'm not a good uh, guy, 
because I'm the guy who hits all the technical questions. So from my perspective, I hate Daya. Because someone called me, he will always call with Daya. So I will give it seven. I believe it's seven. Let's now shift focus to the third product and its maker. Third uh, brand is Dynas, one of the biggest producers of um, uh, independent producer of the models on the market. Each hybrid inverter need batteries, and most producers use their own uh, their own batteries. It's closed system, and this leads to uh, uh, when there is no competition, there is no competition in prices and qualities. And uh, Dynas try to break that uh, that situation and be compatible with as many brands as it possible uh, with uh, competitive prices and competitive um, uh, quality. For the Dynas battery systems, how would you evaluate their build quality, including the casing connectors and the mounting hardware? It's made uh, in good quality. Uh, I'm fun because they use screws uh, to connect the cables to the batteries. Thanks that it's very easy to make the cables longer. So it's, uh, it's easier to install. Uh, uh, instead of using typical DC connectors uh, to the batteries. And the quality, the manual, uh, all the materials uh, and documentation provided by Dynas is, is good quality. The case itself is also very solid and the battery is not very heavy. So you get what you expect. You said they are gaining popularity, but with so many storage options available, what makes this one stand out in real world installations? True, Dynas it's nothing outstanding. They are not mm, significantly better or different than other brands uh, on the market, but um, they have this nice um, advantage that they are available and very well known. So if you choose to have a Dynas, it's very easy to get it. And you don't have such a situation, you promised your customer one product and when it finally decides to make the installation happens, the product is not available anymore. You don't have that problem. The product itself, it's not outstanding. It's price competitive. It's, it's well known on the market. And how about Dynas uh, battery systems? It's, I believe it's six. Solid, but nothing amazing. Can you paint a picture of the kind of project where these three products really shine when used together? If you have any tree, any chimney, any leaves, Anything which might cause shade, then ICO is something amazingly. And they back to contact technology. They are uh, the inverters. Um, if the customer just just want to have an installation, PV installation with battery, which supports backup supports on one or two uh, devices, one or two lines in your house, uh, just a simple installation with increased self consumption, then don't choose there yeah? because you will, will cry on it. But if the customer says, and I expect from that system, this, 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 anything, what you expect additionally, probably leads you to Daya. Because they have optimizers, they have a model which allows you to trade the energy on the market. So buy the energy from the grid where it's cheap and sell the energy when it's most expensive. And thanks to the low voltage battery, you can buy the biggest, uh, with the same amount of money, you can buy double or even triple battery bank. And when your customer expects something more than just a simple installation, probably it will lead you to today. If you want to be uh, more, more competitive on the market and you're looking for a price, because price is a big part of the competition, uh, then Dynas battery helps you to be more competitive. Uh, but if you make the installation 1000 kilometers away from your house and you have to be thousand percent sure that it never breaks and it never have any issues and it never have any uh, communication problems and so on, then choose one brand of inverter and battery instead of mixing two of them. That brings us to the end of this field tested episode. A special thanks to Mikolai from Menlo Electric for offering a grounded expert perspective on these technologies. Thank you, have a good day. If you found this episode interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I am Trimok Chatterjee and this is ENF Trade TV, your one-stop destination for all things solar.